Hey there guys, what is up? Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into this unboxing because all these companies I'm gonna show you today I have ordered from many, many times and if you're familiar with my videos, you have seen these companies on my channel before and maybe you are familiar with them too. So let's go ahead and get started. This one is from Glitter and Gore. Here's her card. Oh, I don't think I've seen her this card before. This may be a new card. That is cool. That is really cool. I love it. Now, of course, that's her little logo, but I don't think I've seen this card. So, anyway, this is the top of the box. And that's a little sticker. Oh, how cute. I'm going to have to do something with that. That is adorable. I love her little love her little logo. Okay, and there's a little, little ducky. I might already have this one from her. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, let me go ahead and push this back and see what we have now. Y'all, it's funny because out of all these unboxings, I think I'm only keeping like half of this stuff. Some of it's for giveaways and some of it is um, for gifts. So, um, I don't know. We'll see what I'm keeping and what I'm giving away here. But it's all awesome stuff, nonetheless. Okay, let's see what we've got. Now, Nikki, owner of Glitter and Gore, um, she's always coming out with new stuff. She's always coming out with new stuff and she's been selling out of some things like pretty quickly. So um, when these came out, I jumped right on them. Um, usually she comes out with new things and I want them, but then I kind of like, oh, I've got so much already and then I wait and she sells out and I'm like, crap. But anyway, um, this is called pineapple soul and she's so freaking funny i mean you know pineapples are the thing right now you know it's the beginning of summer and everybody has a pineapple and of course if she does anything like whatever a trend is she will put her own spin on it and it's just it's hysterical so anyway of course this has a skull in the middle of it um oh, but it smells like pineapple and um it's just she's hysterical so anyway I'm not gonna keep this one sadly this is going to um, one of my friends sons for his birthday um, it's hard to find like um, kind of hard to find male bath bombs um, so I thought that he would like this one mmm that smells really good of course I'm tempted tempted to keep it but I'm not going to I can't I can't do that to the little kids so anyway there's that okay um this one i think let's see what is this one okay i'm gonna give him this one too because i've had this one before i've got a demo of it and i think a little boy will like this too this is lullaby and this is scented in poison berry i loved loved this one this is one of my favorite ones from her and this is kind of like a line item for her she's always got this oh i love love this one so um yeah, this is called Lullaby, and the water is just an awesome purple with this one. It's a Black Widow spider, obviously. Next is, now I've wanted this one for a while, and she's had this one out for a little while. It's relatively new, but I think she's restocked it a time or two. Obviously, this is the stay puffed marshmallow man from ghostbusters i think this is one of the most original cool bombs that i've seen um in a while and he smells like i think burnt marshmallows is what she said but i'm pretty sure it's you know toasted marshmallows and um I, but i think she calls him um stay puffy um let's see No, I can't smell it. Yeah, I just did another unboxing. I've got lotion, scented lotion, and body silk, and shower gel, and all that stuff all over my hands. So I can't really smell these through the package too much. But um, isn't he adorable? I'm gonna give this one to my son because he's a huge Ghostbusters fan. So I'm not gonna use this one either. But hopefully, I will get to demo it um, either way for you guys. But I won't be taking this bath. Oh yeah, smell it. I do smell it a little bit. Okay, so that one. I love this one. I think it's awesome. Okay, next. Now, this one I think I'm keeping for myself. This one, I don't know. I might give it to my son. Okay. This one is her Aluma Naughty <laughs> Bath Bomb. Awesome. Look, look, look how it's written. Obviously, I think you could tell by the way I said it. Friggin' Nikki's Twist. I absolutely love it. I think it's awesome. Um, so this one is scented in, let's see, I have it right here. Um, um, cherry Coke. 
I think that's the scent actually that's um, kind of oh, like taken over this box because I do smell a scent like more strongly than the others and I think this is it. And this bath bomb is, is huge. It's, it's huge. So um, I'm definitely going to demo this one for you guys. This is, this is awesome. I mean, have you ever seen anything like this themed at all? I mean, that's just totally original. I love it. Great. It's awesome. Okay. Nikki is very, very creative. She's very original. Nobody has anything like hers. Her ideas come just right, right out of her creative mind. Okay, so that is Glitter and Gore. So I'm gonna cut this real quick and then we will move on to Sweet Shop of Horrors. Okay, so Sweet Shop of Horrors. Now this one actually was in my last purchase but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you because you need to see it, it's freaking awesome. Okay, so this is her Countessa bath bomb and it's scented in Dark Kiss. Now, there are a lot of notes in there, so, and I don't have them written down, but you can go look them up if you want to on her website. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's flat on the back, it's huge. It's as big as both of my hands and it's just hand painted. It's just awesome. She's got a couple of them that are kind of like this. They're totally different. They're kind of like this. Like, I almost want to say like this is kind of like becoming like a signature kind of look for her in a bath bomb because let me show you what else I have in the box. Okay. Um, now it's funny because um, I saw her, um, I saw this bath bomb on her Instagram. And I said, okay, well, when you restock those, like, let me know. I want one of those. And she said, well, no, I just, I made those for a giveaway, or I made that for a giveaway. I, I didn't really ever, like, make those to sell. And I was like, well, okay, well, crap, but okay, that's cool. And then, like, a couple weeks after that, I noticed she, or she was like, Okay, I'm, I'm stocking these. Evidently, I wasn't the only one who was like, you need to make those. I want to buy one of those. Oh my gosh. Penny Wiser. Because she's a woman. Girl. Okay, so this is so amazing. So let me tell you what happened. And she'll hopefully correct me if I'm wrong. Now, <clears throat> I got two of those. She did her, she, she's, she's so pretty, and she does, like, some awesome, like, makeup looks every once in a while. You'll see on her, actually, more on her personal account, but, um, <clears throat> so she did her makeup like that once, and then this awesome artist, I don't know if it's a friend of hers or not, this is, you might not care about this, but I'm going to tell you the story anyway while I'm unwrapping these. Um, so she did her makeup like this, Talia, the owner of uh, Sweet Shop of Horrors, and this awesome artist like did a painting of that, and then it just became, as far as I know, it was a thing. It was just awesome. It was gorgeous, and she did a bath bomb like that. Now everybody wants it. Of course, I wanted to. So um, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's fabulous. So um, anyway, here's the other one. Isn't that beautiful? It's just awesome the artistry in these so anyway I'm gonna put one in a giveaway and I'm gonna demo one absolutely I'm gonna demo one I might give this one away I'm not sure um, before she came out with these I had originally gotten this one to give away because I thought somebody would absolutely die to have this one in a giveaway so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna put this one in a giveaway or um, demo it or not but anyway this one is scented in sweet tarts and of course that is like right up my alley as far as scents go um oh, i can't smell this through the wrapper but it's so pretty look at it okay so anyway and it looks like um and there's some candy in the box looks like she put some ooh, sour patch kids Yes, I will eat those. My son's not getting these. Um, looks like she stuck something in there also for me that I didn't expect. This is adorable. I haven't seen anything like this. It says, treats for creeps. How cute is that? Um, and obviously, it's a bath bomb. That is so cute. Now, she is very innovative and does things like this, but I don't think that I've seen this on her uh, website. I'm not sure what it smells like. It might smell kind of blue raspberry-ish, which would make sense. That's 
awesome. I cannot wait to demo this. Thank you, Talia. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I lost my damn train of thought. That's awesome. That's her card now. That's awesome. Okay, so anyway, that's what we have from Sweet Shop of Horrors. And just, just real quick, I'm not even going to cut this video again because I've been having problems with my camera today, the sound on my camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys this because I've been ordering so much from Twisted Allure lately. Um, I'm just going to show you, I mean, I'm not kidding when I said that I've been um, ordering so much from her. So she restocked these um, hand soaps that I'm just like crazy about. Um, this is her Immortal, her um, Dark Cherry hand soap. Now, Bath and Body Works, many, many moons ago, used to have like a fresh, fresh picked line. They had fresh picked blueberries, fresh picked cherries, and I loved those two scents. Um, and so this is my favorite one of hers. It reminds me of that, and I haven't had a hand soap that I've loved that much in like, I don't know, 15, 20, sure, God, years. So anyway, um, I tried hers when she came out with this last, and I got one, and I've been like just barely using it, hoping that it would last, and so finally she restocked these. I got four. So there's one over um, at my sink now, and so I have three more, but I wanted to show you how she packages these. Not only is this, a, it's a heavy duty Ziploc. It's not like the thin kind. So they're in this Ziploc because things like this, especially in the summertime, they tend to leak a little bit. And it's got, it's got scotch tape on the top over the top. And then, um, I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it. It's just gonna sit on my shelf anyway. And then it's got like the black, like heavy duty tape around um, the bottom where it could it could leak out maybe a little bit so um, and then her packaging obviously is gorgeous and it's really you know thick plastic so um, I just absolutely love these soaps and any scent that you might like I would highly recommend those so I just placed an order for four hand soaps so and I think she still has some scents in stock so definitely go ahead and check those out so this is an awesome horror-esque haul of um, three of my favorite three, um, definitely three top-notch horror companies. So definitely go ahead and check all those out. And I've just, I've bought from them all so, so many times. So you can't go wrong with any of these vendors, any products from these vendors. Um, I will absolutely vouch for that. Thanks for watching, you guys. I think that's all I have in this video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.